Good afternoon. We've only gotten through 25% of the total presidential debates. I've finished watching Transparent, so if you have anything left, uh, if you have any recommendations on what to binge watch next, I'd appreciate them. My name's Deb Amlin, and I am here to help you get away from the overwhelming news for a little while. Uh, let's play a game. Let's do the New York Times crossword puzzle. Today's crossword is by Jonathan Kay. And uh, it's an unusual one. If you've already attempted it, you might have noticed there's a note up at the top. The note says, uh, this puzzle contains an element that cannot be reproduced digitally. However, the puzzle can be solved and understood in digital format. And that's true. You can solve this. You just need a little bit of imagination. Uh, for a full explanation of the theme, check out today's column on wordplay, which is the column that I write. Uh, and I went through a lot to uh, try to explain the theme to people. Um, Jonathan Kay is a tricky constructor. He is he likes to play visual tricks on us. So when we solve this puzzle today, we we might have to remember a couple of things about the letters that we fill in. Uh, Miles Allen, let's do this. I love your attitude. Hi, Condor Kurtanib, and hello to Mexico City. Um, everybody's here. I'm so glad. Melissa Elizabeth says it's so small on her phone she can't read. My advice to you guys, try turning it horizontally. If you look at it horizontally, I've been told, I'm looking at it on a laptop, but I've been told that if you hold the phone horizontally, it does get larger. Um, everybody's already, uh, everybody's already starting to solve, so let's get going. Uh, please forgive me if I miss your comments. They're going by pretty quickly. Austin Bragg says, seven down is isolate. Let's take a look at the clue. Place in solitary. You know what? Sounds good to me. Let's try that. So we got one in there already. That's pretty good. Hi, Sarah McClatchy. Welcome back. Hello, uh, Darren Carlson in London. Uh, Michael, I think it's Talitsky, says that one across is bins, and that's correct. They're used for storage, and storage bins, they're real big in my house. Uh, Joseph Wiley agrees. Ann Bright asks, Are, we're, we're trying one across, right? Yes, we, we do skip around, though, Ann, so feel free to fill in whatever you think. Uh, Karam Sheikh says, hi from Pakistan. Hello, Karam. Uh, Sarah McClutchy agrees that it's bins. Uh, Joseph Wiley, oh, you've already done this puzzle. Um, I'm going to show you guys something. Pals is definitely, the answer is buddies, but we're going to, we're going to, we're not going to fill that in yet because I want to show you something. 17 across, the clue is, and this may sound mystifying, but it's really not, carbon dioxide or water vis-a-vis -vis cellular respiration? And the answer is byproduct. Oh, well, hold on. That means that this can't be isolate. So we'll take that out. It was a good try, though. It was a very, very good guess, and it does fit. But I happen to know that this answer is definitely byproduct. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, if, if if one down is buddies, how can that be? But we're going to find out why. Uh, there is a revealer here at 61 across. It says divided, and you can, you can see that there's a division sign here, divided, or a literal hint to interpreting eight squares in this puzzle. So uh, we're going to have to be doing. We're going to have to do some division today. I hope you don't mind. It's not a math puzzle, but we're literally going to be dividing letters in half. I'm mentioning that up front, and I'm spoiling the theme because this is a tough one, and it confused a lot of people. So if we have, if one down is buddies, then how could it be? It says boobies here which is definitely not what you think it is. Um, but here's the thing. If you cut a capital letter B, envision a capital letter B in your mind, uh, that if you divide it, you, what you wind up with are two capital Ds. Look at those tiny little capital Ds. There's a capital D here. And right below it, there's a capital D there. So what we really have is B U D. D-I-E-S, buddies. Let's move on with the rest of the puzzle, though. 
somebody's wishing us with uh, happiness from Stockholm back to you. Um, Gianfranco de Grizia says, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name, four down is Strasse. German Avenue, yep, that's correct. Strasse is, is right. Let's keep going. Um, Vivian Gentry, if you, uh, you can fix the darkness of, of uh, in the settings on your phone. Uh, somebody, Ms. Calter Bianco says 14 down is owed. Let's see, for, oh, no, I must have missed that, I'm sorry. Peter Christopher Barnes says 14 across is unit, storage unit. That's correct. So now we have, oh, kind of fertilization. I don't know too many words that start with I-N-Y in English, but we divided the B, so let's try dividing the Y. If I cover up the bottom, I get a V, and if I cover up the top, I get a capital I. So if I divide the letter Y horizontally, what I get is I-N-V-I, TRO or in vitro fertilization. Now, there are two ways to do this in the electronic uh, version of the puzzle. If you're doing this in print, of course, you can do it any way you want. You can write it in uh, vertically. Unfortunately, our software does not allow you to um, write in a rebus or more than one letter in a square vertically. So here's what we're doing today. The puzzle will accept as a correct answer either the letters B and Y or, and I'm going to go up here and click on the rebus, DD. And you just have to remember that that's actually a letter B. Same with the letter Y. It'll, you divide it up, and you, you chop the, the Y in half, and you get a V and an I in vitro. So you can either put in the rebus, or you can put in the other letters, and they will both be marked at correct, correctly. Three down, gently bites. That's got to be nips at. And look at us. We've already finished quite a bit of that corner. Shelly, well, Shelly wrote Ode to Liberty. And five down, flamingos do it. They wade in the water. Um, Debbie Brood says 22 is a race. Let's take a look. Oh, we got that. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that's okay. I understand about autocorrect. Uh, Sarah McClutchy says 20 across is it's a deal. Let's take a look at the clue. Let's shake on that. It's a deal. That sounds good to me. Thank you, Sarah. Um, a lot of people are agreeing with me that 22 across is a race. Let's move on to other parts of the puzzle. Uh, Farah Bisha says uh, the text looks small. One more time. Farah, if you try turn, are you reading this on the phone? If you try turning your phone horizontally, it might be bigger. Uh, Rose Nunez Brown says nine down is Shah. Let's take a look at that. Noted exile of 1979. Sounds good to me. The Shah of Iran was exiled. Um, let's see. Uh, thank you, guys. If, if somebody uh, says something about uh, the print being small, if you wouldn't mind popping in in the comments and reminding them to turn their phone sideways. Everybody's agreeing that 20 across is it's a deal. What else? Okay, Myra Liebman Slepoy says nine across is scope. Let's take a look. Brand of mouthwash. You know what? Sounds right to me, scope. Um, it's okay. The You know, Lisa Puentes, a lot of people, you go. if this is your first time here, a lot of people are going to be repeating the answer, and that's okay. Everybody's entitled to have a guess, and there is a bit of a lag, so they might not have seen it. Um, seven down. Jordan Dinsmore says seven down is seclude. Place in solitary. Well, we've got that C and the L there, so that looks that looks good to me. Let's give that one a try. And again, isolate was a very good uh, good guess, considering that we didn't have anything there. Fresh, uh, we don't have enough for that yet. Let's see, 15 across gets on. Not quite sure what that is yet. Uh, 
Let's see, 52 across. Micah Paredes says it's Anne. Let's take a look at that. Where is 52 across? Sullivan, who taught Helen Keller. Definitely, Annie Sullivan. Um, Alex Coffey says 13 down is Ent. Specialist in three of the five senses for short. Ear, nose, and throat. Definitely. Good job. Uh, a lot of people are agreeing. Dan Colliott, Joyce Prasso uh, agree that it's ENT. Renu Miles says 16 across is Haven. Let's take a look. Word after new or tax. You know what? That sounds right to me. Tax Haven. Um, Terry Rogers says six down is Iguana. Let's take a look. Pet that's an herbivore. Iguana. Well, you know what? The UA tells me that you're right. Look at us. We are crushing this. Uh, okay. Fresh, then I think is probably going to be wise, is written on papyrus. Oh, I love this clue. Check this out, guys. You've got your question mark here, and it looks like it's saying something is written on papyrus, but it's not. This is misdirection. What they're really asking you for is the word is as if it were written on papyrus a long time ago, and the word is in Old Latin would be est. So that's, that's a fabulous form of misdirection. That's one of the reasons we like the later, later week puzzles, is because you see a lot of that there. Uh, people are agree agreeing on the iguana, which is not a sentence I say every day. Kind of beach. Oh, boy. That's got to be a nude beach. What else have we got here? Um, looking 34 down, Emily Crane and Clark Relief think it's Elba. Let's take a look. 34 down... Actor Idris, oh God, one of my favorites, Idris Elba, definitely. Uh, good job. Paula Nolan says 11 down is Overland, like veneer. Uh, overland, hmm, I don't know. Let's, let's check out the crossings and see if we can get that. Ding or buzz, maybe. Um, not sure what that is. 21 across, drone of a drone, say. Um, don't know that one yet. Demi blank is ballet move. Um, that, I think, is probably going to be demi plie. So it's possible that you, you're right. So let's put in overland, and, and we'll leave that for now. Let's finish this corner. 12 down, pay-click connection. Love this kind of clue. Check this one out. Whenever you see the word connection in the clues, I mean, you guys may be, you know, way beyond this, but for beginners, if you see the word connection in the clues and there's a hyphen, like there is between pay and click, what you're really looking for is a word that, that can be inserted in between pay and click. And we've got P-E blank. But, so I'm going to say that that's probably pay per click, as in, yeah, pay per clip. Okay, so ding or buzz, maybe. Um, I think that's probably alert. And um, drone of a drone, say. Well, a drone of a drone has to be the sound that a drone makes. That's got to be were. What else? Um, Austin agrees with me about alert. Uh, Stephen Grant agrees that the veneer at 11 down is over, oh, overlaid. You know what? That's in, that's it's entirely possible that you're right. Let's see if we can get the crossing and see if that's right. EPA concern. Well, the EPA is concerned with ecology, right? I'll, uh... Hmm. Well, let's take that letter out for now and see. It's not going to be ecology. Um, what else? Uh, Jeff Axelrod wants to know as the solver reading this. I am Jeff, but I also am looking at the puzzle on my computer and they're going by really fast. So um, Lisa wants to know, Mrs. Reporter, what happens when you complete the puzzle? Well, um, no, you don't get a prize. You just get our everlasting gratitude and uh, the bragging rights and respect of your friends and family. Uh, 10 down, Flavio Armoni and Obayed Said say it's Caliph. 
So let's see what that is. Abu Bakr and others are now remember and others signals that it's a plural, so it's caliphs, plural. Um, let's see what we've got here. Artisanal, maybe. Um, I would say anything that's artistic, artisanal is made by hand. So let's see. I'm wondering if that by has anything to do with the rest of the puzzle. Let's check that out. 21 down says formation of unions. That would be weddings. And there we are again. That B, if you break it in half horizontally, is actually two capital D's, just like we had them in here, except I'm typing in the letters this time and not the and not the, the rebus format. Um, Norbu Fnu says 24 down is debt. Let's take a look. Tear down and real estate lingo. Um, well, you know what, DE blank blank does look like it could be debt, but given the clue, I think it's demo, as in demolish. Uh, Lisa Quiz, and I'm please forgive me if I mispronounce your name. Um, let's see, Stacy Vickery says a mission is the EPA concern. You know what? Now that I look at it, I would say you're right. Uh, mission, and it is overlaid. Nice, nice job, you guys. All right, let's finish this corner. Privy to is definitely in on, and designer mode of the incredible. She was my favorite character in that cartoon. Is Edna. Uh, now we have shop holders. Remember that this is not really a Y. This is really a V and an I, because. We're dividing these things, and we're going to find out why. So a shop hold holder would be vices. And let's see what this is. Federal property overseer, GS. Not sure what that is yet. Uh, Mark Damish agrees that it's a mission. Allison Kelly agrees. Michael Steele agrees. Uh, a lot of people are agreeing. Uh, on Edna and a mission. Um, and again, please forgive me, there is a bit of a lag on the comments on Facebook Live. It's just the nature of Facebook Live. So if I'm reading old comments, I will catch up. Daniel Makbul says 29 is maestro. Let's take a look. That must be 29 down. Leader in a pit. You're correct. It's not a literal pit, it's an orchestra pit. So here we go, maestro. And Uber calculation, briefly. Um, well, if you're riding in an Uber, you're probably going to want to know when you get there, and that would be ETA. Um, Troy, Torreson, and Makawu say that uh, 44 across is GSA. Thank you very much. David Jackson agrees. Kim Huff Kaptan agrees. Troy Torreson agrees. A lot of people agree. Thank you. I'm glad you guys know that. Um, Alex Goldberg says 43 down is ancient. Let's take a look. Humble oneself. Hmm. Well, the thing is that ancient is a descriptor and humble oneself is an, is an activity. So remember that the clues and the entries have to match each other in parts of speech. I'm not quite sure. It could be right. But let's, let's do some more crossings to see what we've got here. Uh, for example, here's one that crosses it, grade. We have R blank, blank, blank. I don't know what it was. Uh, Sarah Beth asks, whatever it was about union formation for 21 down might end in Enos, an Italian American uh, name. Well, it's actually weddings. Union formations are weddings. Um, Let's see. Oh, here was one I liked. Law thing. Uh, it's in quotes. So what we're really looking for is the word thing as a legal term. And I didn't go to law school, but Will Shorts did. And so you will see some legal terms in the puzzle. Uh, the word is res. And I just know that because I've been doing a lot of crossword puzzles. 
Uh, Sarah McClutchy says 64 crosses Neil for Neil Armstrong. Let's take a look at that. Buzz Proceder famely, famously. Uh, could be Neil. He preceded Buzz Aldrin. Um, some people are saying rate, the word rate. We're, okay, if you could include the uh, number and whether it's across or down, I'd appreciate it because I'm not really sure what part of the puzzle you're talking about. Could it be this one? 53 across grade is rate. Yeah, I would say if you grade something, you're rating it. Um, let's go to this one. Evening in Italy. Okay, who here speaks Italian? Who, who knows what the, ev what the word evening is in Italy? Is it Sera, S-E-R-A? Troy Torreson says, oh, he found the Trevi Fountain here. Noted fountain name. Now remember, this may be one of those buys because we don't have enough letters. Remember, we don't have enough spaces for T-R-E-V-I. What we do have is enough room for a Y, which if you cut it in half is V-I. So there's your Trevi. Uh, Staples of Indiana Jones films. Uh, not quite sure what that would be yet, but we can fit. Let's work on this corner and see what we get. Um, or, or 54 down. Robert Lee says 54 down is sad. Let's put it, let's take a look. Down. Well, if you know what, you're right. If you're down, you're sad. Let's, we, we'll leave that in there and we'll see if it works. Um, Kim Huff Captain agrees with me that 38 is Sarah, as in K Sarah Sarah. And uh, Daphne Norton says 66 across is Etsy. Let's take a look. That's one of my, f I cannot get off that site. That is one of my favorite things to look at. Uh, popular craft site, Etsy. Yep. Let's put that in there. Um, 67 across, Gianluca Funari says 67 across is three. Let's take a look. We don't have a lot of we don't, have, oh, here, here, it is three. The, there are three caballeros in, in the Disney film. But remember, if you have a clue that is in another language, like numero, caballeros, then the answer has to be in that language. And in Spanish, the number for three would be tres. Um, Tom Foley says 54 across is square. Let's take a look. Where are we? 54. Uh, hiccup cure, it said. Well, yep, you can try to scare someone. You know what works for us is a spoonful of sugar. If you hold a spoonful of sugar in your mouth and then you swallow it, that is what cures the hiccups in our household. Like the Aramaic language. This may be the ancient that somebody else was talking about before. Um, a Terribly sorry if I got the number wrong or if, or if we were confused somehow. Um, Mitzi Reba says, agrees with me, sugar. Uh, Gina Williams says, 60 down is toe. Let's take a look. 60 down, aftermath of a breakdown. Yeah, well, you know what? If you're not talking about a nervous breakdown and a, an automotive breakdown, then you would be towed afterward. Uh, Matan Odell agrees with me about 45 down and ancient, and somebody else did. I'm sorry, it goes by very quickly. Puya BK says 48 across is NSFW, which stands for not safe for work. Let's take a look at that clue. Warning next to an internet link. Oh, there you go. Not safe for work. I think that's probably correct. And let's see if we can... The shop device, not quite sure what that is. 50 down, Big Mac. Well, there you have a question mark again. So we don't mean a literal Big Mac like the kind you can buy at McDonald's. We mean another kind of Mac. And in that case, it would be Freddy. But we don't have enough room for the 2D. So that's got to be one of those Bs that we're talking about. Um, let's put in 51 down, boring things. Um, you know what? Earlier in the week, boring things might literally be the things that are boring. But on a Thursday, I would bet you that boring things means something else. It means things that literally bore or dig into. In that case, things that bore would be weevils. 
and we don't have enough room for that, but we're gonna we're gonna cr crowd it in with this rebus with uh whoops, sorry, I'm uh, sorry about that. That should be a Y because that there's your V and your I, weevils. Um Zara Rizwan says 58 down is easy. I'm glad that's easy for you to say. Like some sums. Um easy. All right, let's let's Put that in, but uh, let's we, we're going to have to check that one, and I'll tell you why. At 57 across, we have something here we've, where we've got three vowels in a row, and you don't see that in English very often. So I don't know if that's correct, but let's check it out. Captive, uh, not quite sure yet. Let's uh, skip around a little bit. Uh, Daniel Mockbull says 61 down is die. Let's take a look. Mint apparatus. Yep, if you, and not a mint the plant, but a mint where they make money, they use dyes to print out and stamp the money. Um, let's see, 63 across, really mad. Uh, don't have enough for that yet. Um, Sarah, I'm sorry to hear that you've got technical difficulties. I hope you come back soon. Uh, Sandy Han, if the numbers are too small, try turning your phone sideways. I've heard it gets a little bit bigger that way. Dani Solaro says 65 across is sweet. Let's take a look. Awesome. Um, yep, if it is a verbalization in the clue, then it has to be a verbalization in the answer. And I would say that sweet and awesome are approximately the same, so let's put that in there. Uh, let's see. Angelique Chavon says that the sums are tidy. You know what? Hmm, let's try that. Uh, let me take out easy. And there's nothing wrong at making a guess and being wrong. That's why we have the backspace button. Um, and let's see what else. I think that probably works because captive, I think, is going to be detainee. There we are. And this... A shop device has got to be a sander. Uh, let's see. Um, Jason Carroll is having a moment. Um, Kim Huff Kaplan has solved the revealer, which is going to tell us why we're doing so such weird stuff with the with the letters today. Divided or a literal hint to interpreting eight squares in this puzzle, and I'm gonna I'm gonna. I think I spoiled it before, but let's let's really get it all out there. Is divided by. Oops, sorry about that. Divided by. Now, divided by can also be interpreted literally as literally dividing the word by, and that's what we've done here. We've taken a capital B, which if you visualize it, looks like two capital D's stacked on top of each other, but because our software doesn't allow us to stack them, we have to type them in like this, or you can put in a regular B, and just remember that it's not a B, it's only a B going across. Going down, it's two capital D's. So going across, the entry is made by hand, but going down, the answer is W-E-D-D-I-N-G-S. That's pretty cool. Sarah Storr Johan agrees it's divided by. Robin Helf says 55 across is Oreo. Let's take a look. 55, where are we? Hello, okay. Brand with a thick and fluffy variety. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Oreo. Uh, 56 down, meat. Uh, not sure, but let's, let's check some of the crossings here. Operating requirement. Very primitive, not sure. Spanish provincial capital, not sure what we've got there. Uh, lawful ends, I love this clue. Check this out, guys. Question mark, so it's not going to mean literal, the end of lawful, something lawful. What they want you to do is look at the ends, plural ends of the word lawful, and what you've got is the letter L twice. So the answer to lawful ends is, oops, sorry about that, L's. I think that's pretty clever, don't you? 
Um, let's see, so many choices. Now that's a verbalization, so that means that the, um, the answer has to be a verbalization. Lisa Murphy agrees with me that it's detainee. Erica Kilborn says, no, that's not right, but I'm not sure what she's referring to. Um, Robert Lee says, let me see. Um, you know what? That looks like it, that looks like it would work. Let's put that in. There we go. Um, that means, huh, um, Spanish provincial capital, I'm going to say that's probably Leon. Uh, don't know if that's right yet. Very primitive, don't know yet. Uh, targets of some blockers. I'm, that's got to be ads, ad blockers. Uh, what else have we got? Kelly Sitker says 43 down is eat dirt. 43 down. I won't take that personally, Kelly. Uh, humble oneself. Yes, yes. It would be, if you humble yourself, another way to say it is to eat dirt. Um, other people are agreeing that um, let me see is correct. Uh, Linnell Pugmire, I hope I pronounced that correctly, says 36 is Stone Age. Let's see. Stone, that means Oreo can't be correct. So let's take that out. And again, it's okay. It's okay to guess. That's how we get through this Stone Age. Um, let's check the crossings and see if that's right. It's a version of table tennis had a square ball. I remember this. I remember when my father bought the first Atari and we played Pong and you could hit that ball across the screen and go to work. And by the time you came home in the evening, it would be just about time to hit the ball back to the other side. That would be Atari. Um, 52 across, one-time Venetian leaders. Um, I think those are doges. That, that strikes me as correct. Um, what else? Uh, Kobe Pasquale agrees on a, a, Atari. Kitty Ryan says 63 is something I'm sorry went by very quickly. Um, let's see. Pau Sanchez Pinto agrees with me on doges. A lot of people are agreeing on Atari. Uh, I guess we all played Atari when we were kids. Um, Mark Malari, you had blisters from the joystick too. Um, you had you weren't you weren't a real Atari player until you had those blisters. I think um, Terry Roger and Kevin Lee taught say sixty two across is dogma. Well, the thing is that the clue is one time Venetian leaders. Uh, so if you have DOG and you don't have the others, remember that you have to look at the clue. It's got to agree with the tense, and it's got to agree, if it's a plural, then the answer has to be plural. plural sorry. All right, meat. If you're going to have the meat of something, you're going to have the gist of it. And, oh, I know what this is now. A brand with a thick and fluffy variety. It's not Oreo, man. It's Ego, as in Lego my Ego. Um, now we've got the staples of Indiana Jones films. Well, I think those are booby traps because he was always getting caught in things like pits of snakes, right? And if this word doesn't look like it makes a lot of sense to you, let's remember that that B and that Y are supposed to be divided by, we're dividing by. So we're dividing it in half. So the answer to operating requirement is actually an MD degree. So that's what that reads. And we've got one letter left, guys. Look at this. We have crushed this in record time. It's taken us probably about a half an hour to do the Thursday New York Times crossword puzzle. So if anybody out there who can hear me says, I can't do the New York Times crossword puzzle, you go tell them that they can. So we've got one letter left. Let's put it in. A lot of people are saying, Ired for angry and 47 down is overuse of the word like and others. I'm trying to break my my 17 year old son is a like you know uh, person right now. I'm trying to break him of that habit. And you're right, they are pet peeves. So let's put that in together and 
bam, we solved the New York Times crossword puzzle, you guys, together. You help me, I help you. I hope you guys picked up a couple of tips and tricks. If you are still confused, please go to the wordplay column on uh, nytimes.com. I'm happy to help, and there is a huge community of crossword solvers and like-minded people who would be happy to answer questions or congratulate you for finishing. Uh, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next Thursday at 1 o'clock, and I hope you have a great afternoon.